Hello and welcome. Thank you for tuning into my channel. My name is Bukhari and today in this video I will be showing you how to create equal columns or not equal columns or unequal columns using CSS technology called Flexbox. So let's get started. So I'm opening my code editor. I'm injecting some HTML skeleton. There it is. Let's clean up a little bit. Let's bring the font, make the font bigger. Let's bring the preview window in here. Let's add a title to the page. Flexbox equal and an equal columns 2016, right? So flex box equal and unequal columns that is okay so first in the body section of the document we're gonna add a section tag with a class name called container and within this container tag we're gonna add another section or article tag or div tag whatever it is article with a class name called items item or whatever you like and within this item i'm gonna add some content okay so um just added lower some text in there so there it is okay so that's the um html part that we will be dealing with so now grab this i'm going to grab this container selector and in the css we're gonna work on that so we're creating flexbox equal or not equal or unequal columns right so first thing what we need to do is that to give it a display property and value is flex no doubt right so and also going to give it a background color so background color I'm going to add a HSL color the color will is going to be 200 2002 hue 55% saturation 55% and that's it so that's our color there i'm also going to add a uh, padding like 1 em okay so that's for the container section um, selector right now we're going to work with the item selector okay so we have our item selector there now we're going to add a property and value which is going to be as we can guess because we gave the container tag a display flex property we need to give its child which is item right the item is the child of the container tag right so for the child we need to add a flex property and the value will be one so what it means is that flex grow one flex shrink one okay and flex basis one 100 percent all right so that means it's full width is full responsive by default fully responsive by default okay so that's the beauty beauty of flex box anyways moving on now what we need to do is that i'm going to add a few more properties and value which is very simple padding like 1 am and also i'm going to add a margin like 0.6 em okay so and also i'm going to add a background color in there quickly write it white okay so we can you can see right away that we have a single column in the page right fully responsive okay beautiful moving on so we have done it right so this is single column so we want to see how the multiple columns columns work in a equal style equal height style and unequal height style okay so first thing what we need to do i'm going to grab this article section i'm going to copy it a few more times and i'm going to uh, minimize the texts from there so that we can differentiate from each other right so okay yeah so right now so the right now so right now this thing is equal height columns right so the columns that have less content follows the column that has maximum content right so you can see we have three columns sitting in here with three different 
quantities of quantity of text in there right as you can say so this is equal column approach okay so what you had to do just give the parent tag display flex property and value and the child tag selector flex one and that's how easy it is to make it equal column you don't have to do anything else right so this is how you make the column equal height in using flexbox all right you got the idea right so so part one is complete equal height column part is complete so now the unequal or not equal height column expert is right technique so how are you going to do it what you have to do just focus in here in the item selector right in the child selector in the child selector you will add another flexbox property called align self and I align self is only for the child element okay flexbox child element okay so so align self you can do it two ways straightforward okay so if you put baseline and then it's it's going to be unequal not equal height columns right so that's that's one way of doing it align self baseline or align self flex start yeah you can see right so this is totally unequal column right you get the idea huh okay you can play with this um, all of this align self properties and values right if you put auto that means auto by default baseline means baseline right and center it will center the uh, columns right and then flex end it will start from the bottom right because it's flex end so flex start will be starting from the top right then inherit will have no it will be inheriting from the parent one anyways moving on then a stretch is a stretch if there are contents then you, you get the idea right it will stretch on behalf of the content right okay so we're gonna put a flex start right flex start is more appropriate more logical more understandable baseline not so much okay so there you go that's how you create um, flex box and equal height column okay and if you um, comment this like this or anyways you can remove it you have the equal column height equal height columns using flexbox and not equal height columns using flexbox right so i hope you understand the concept so there it is equal height and not equal height unequal height columns using flexbox and this is the code you need can you imagine man wow that's the power of flexbox anyways so i want to take it further you are wondering maybe you are wondering how can i make it stack on top of each other so you just have to add a media query right so at media screen and in the bracket uh, max width put like 600 pixels and in here just target the container selector and give it a protein value like flex flow okay then column and wrap and that's it so whenever it is from 0 to maximum 600 pixels it will stack on top of each other there you go that's how easy it is to take control have control over the contents using flex box so there it is i hope this video is helpful to you i hope you learn something from this tutorial if you do please do not forgive i mean do not forget to give this video a thumbs up please do write to me what is your experience with this tutorial and do share the video with the world and in the next video i'll be showing you how to um, 
do the nesting using flexbox okay so i'll catch you in my next video thank you for your time thank you for being here i really appreciate your presence so i'll catch you in my next video thank you take care bye